you could say 2022 will be the year of the comeback. I'm vengeance. Not just for famous movie franchises like Batman and Jurassic World. Or returning TV series. I was wondering if we'd meet again. Like Bridgerton and This Is Us. It's the little things I'm not ready to let go of yet. 2022 is also a comeback for us, entertainment lovers. We're expected to fill movie theaters and pack music venues of all sizes, like Irving Plaza in New York. It strikes me we're standing right here. There's a stage right there. Wow, right? Incredible. (laughs) Michael Wisher is chief operating officer at Ticketmaster. He is definitely not downplaying expectations for next year. We fully expect 2022 to be the greatest year in live entertainment history. He says Ticketmaster has already sold 65 million tickets for events in 2022. Festivals like Coachella and Stagecoach plan to return. Several big-name artists are going on tour. Billie Eilish, Shawn Mendes, Alicia Keys, Bad Bunny, Justin Bieber, and more. Artists keep on coming to the table for longer and bigger tours, and consumers keep showing up to buy tickets. You think 2022 could be better than pre-pandemic levels? The way we're looking at it right now is that 2022 is poised to set a new bar for what can be achieved across the entire live entertainment industry. While demand grows, so does the number of COVID cases. So fans need to remember some venues and artists may require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Movie chains also hope to rebound. When theaters reopened in 2021, movie selection was thin, and so were the crowds. That gradually changed. Cinemark says October's box office more than doubled May's numbers, fueled by big-budget films like the latest Bond flick, No Time to Die. 2022 promises even more blockbusters, the fourth John Wick movie, the fifth Indiana Jones film, and the seventh Mission Impossible. Well, we might be getting out of the house more. Don't think we're dumping our TVs. 49% of American viewers say they've been watching more TV since the pandemic began. In 2022, they'll have more to see. Favorites like Stranger Things, The Crown, and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel will all return. It's changed the business. Plus new shows like Lord of the Rings and the Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon, breathing fire and life into the entertainment kingdom. For today, Joe Fry, NBC News. So no lack of good options, obviously, heading into 2022. What are you most looking forward to seeing? So one might surprise you, Ozark. It's a little bit of a mystery, but I love that show. And then, of course, The Crown. Yeah, no clearly it's there. not The Crown that's the one that surprises <laughs> me for you. I'm buying yeah. Winning Time. That's that new show about the L.A. Lakers dynasty from the 1980s. John C. Riley, Adrian Brody are in it. I think that should be fun as well. Sports and the 80s, that's what you're about. All right, well, we'll look forward to all of that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.